Hi there, it's Mirren with Engadget. We're here at Maker Faire 2013 with Jerry Alvworth. Uh, you're showing something really cool here called Cast AR, right? Yes. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? So it's a projection augmented reality um, glasses system that allows you to project computer graphics into the world and mix it with the real world and interact with it with our input devices like a, a magic wand. And you can interact with these synthetic graphical things that are being overlaid in the world just as if they're really there. So you can go poke at blocks, you can uh, track figurines on a surface. Can you show us the hardware? Sure. So this is a, a prototype that we're working on. It's not what we're showing here right now. It consists of two projectors that are projecting out of the glasses. There's a tracking camera in here right. that is tracking the surface. So we have active LEDs that are embedded in the surface so we can figure out where your head position is down to you know, it's sub-millimeter at three meter distance. Um, we've done it all with inexpensive cell phone style parts so uh -huh. that the glasses will be inexpensive. Um, we're shooting for a, a Kickstarter later this year. Our plan is sub $200 for glasses, the wand, which lets you interact with the world. Yeah, that was very cool, by the way, yeah, I have to you. say. And uh, the surface. The surface is a special surface. Tell us it's, a little bit about that. It's like a projection screen. It works very much like a silver screen in the theater. It's called a retro reflector. It's a highly directional surface. So you project out like you're projecting a movie, and it comes directly back to the same user that's projecting. So each person that's wearing glasses can have a unique perspective on the scene that's being rendered. So if you're wearing glasses, you would be seen from your perspective, and I could be off to the side, and I can have a different perspective. Oh, cool. So you can do multiplayer very easily that way. Yes. So we have some multiplayer um, demos in here. And the LED tracking is still basically you only see one set of LEDs. Once you calibrate the glasses, you're good to go for every person, right? Yeah, so our final shipping product will have LEDs embedded all around the surface. Cool. So we just haven't quite made it there yet. That way if one is covered, it still works, etc. Yeah. Right now we have five. If you cover one of them, it blocks it off. Right on. Well, listen, the demo is really impressive. Uh, can you tell us maybe a little bit of why, uh, how much of this technology was developed when you were still at Valve? And yeah, so when I was at Valve, I was the first hardware hire. We started a hardware department there. I recruited a bunch of colleagues and friends um, to come in. We started researching everything games. We looked at input devices, output devices, VR, AR, and then the group um, split off into different directions. There were some people working on input and some people working on VR, and I got very passionate. Actually, I didn't even think AR was very interesting at first, but as I started to see the potential of the, all these brand new game experiences that you can have, I got very passionate about AR, uh -huh. and I, you know, I put all of my effort into AR. You know, unfortunately, it doesn't really fit with um, the type of games Valve makes, so it really wasn't working out for us there. So right. a, a group of us are now working working outside of Valve, uh, with their blessings, they uh, have given us this tech. Cool. And, uh, you know, no, the most obvious thing for me was it's it doesn't feel quite as disconnected as VR, you know? Yeah. Like it just, I felt like I was getting an experience, but I wasn't feeling like I was like in some like kind of weird cocoon, and that was really nice. Well, it's nice because you have the side of the glasses are open, so you still have your peripheral vision. You can see through the glasses at your friends that are, you know, playing this game across from you. You, you still see everything, and it doesn't make you dizzy like some of the other ones where you're blind and you don't know which way is up. Um, you're completely anchored to the world, so you know, you know which way is up or whatever. Right on. Well, listen, thanks again for the time and showing us the demos. We really, really appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you.